Here we have six Heath Kit weather kits all up and running at the same time. Now that's something you don't see very often. Over on the left, the first kit we have is the ID1390B digital electronic thermometer. Then we have the ID1590 digital wind speed and direction indicator. Next one over is the ID2295 relative humidity indicator. And then the ID1795 digital rain gauge. And next one over is the ID2090 digital barograph. And the last kit on the right is the ID1990 digital barometer. Well, let's take a look at each one of these up close. This is the ID1390B electronic digital thermometer. This has the bright orange display and you might notice that it flickers from time to time. That's normal operation. It does that when it cycles between the indoor and the outdoor temperature reading even though I have the alternate hold switch in the hold position, it will still flicker. You see the two temperature probes, one for the indoor temperature and one for the outdoor temperature. Now this is the first heat kit I ever built. The ID1590 digital wind speed and direction indicator. And it also has the bright orange display on it. Let's give the wind cups a spin and see what happens. Look at that! Instantaneous wind speed. You can't go wrong with that. Let's give the wind direction a spin as well. Now you might have thought that this only showed eight points on the compass, but as you can see, it shows 16 points by lighting up the adjacent arrow. There's north northeast and we'll bring it all the way around 360 degrees back to our starting point point. and there's south southeast. Here are the wind sensors for the ID1590 now these are the newer style sensors and what's different about them from the old style is the U-bolt assembly is different and the end caps on the square tubing are black instead of blue. Here's the ID2295 relative humidity indicator and I've got the indoor humidity sensor on the right and the outdoor humidity sensor on the left. And the accuracy of this kit tracks pretty well with a sling psychrometer. But as you can see, the humidity is quite low in here at 24%. And I'm going to do something about that. Let me show you a little trick. I'm just going to pick up the humidity sensor and blow in it. Because I don't like the low humidity in here. Oh, feels better already. 39%. Ooh, 46%. I think the static electricity is gone. See, you don't need to go out and buy a humidifier. All you need to do is blow in your humidity sensor. It's really that simple. 74%. Yeah. As you can see, the sensor is quite responsive to rapid changes. Uh-oh, I think I overdid it. It's starting to feel really damp in here. Yeah, we might see 80%. Here's the ID1795 digital rain gauge. I really like the appearance of the green and aluminum tipping bucket on this kit. Even though this is the original tipping bucket that came with these kits, it was actually made by Rainwise. 
This is the ID1990 digital barometer. The black box on the left contains the barometric pressure sensor. Heathkit called that box the oven, and it got that name because it has a heating element in it that warms the inside of the box to maintain the barometric pressure sensor stability. If you actually pick the box up, it will feel warm to the touch. This is the ID2090 digital barograph. Now I thought these kits would be easy to find over the years, but they're actually quite rare. These kits came with two different packages of charts. One package contained 31 day charts, and the other package contained 7 day charts. The chart you see here is a 31 day chart. The 7 day charts were yellow. It's been running a little over a day now on that 31 day chart and what's interesting about that is that pin and that chart have been in there since the 1980s. Okay it's not so interesting that that chart's been in there that long but that pin is still able to draw a line after all these years. That ink should have been dried out a long time ago. But I'm not complaining because I haven't had to use any of my spare pins yet. Here's one final look at all six kits. And I hope you enjoyed the video.